Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo guide on how to complete this week's Nightfall. I am doing it on Legend difficulty and there is a weapon to be had which is the Uzume SR4 or R4. It's the, the sniper rifle. It's the Uzume RR4. It's a very good sniper rifle, 90, 90 RPM. You can get it with a variety of different perks and it seems on, on my first usage, it seems to be actually a really solid sniper. Uh, you can see what I'm using here. We're going with a chargeable light build, but more so, we are going to test these. Now, I don't really think this was the greatest test of these, the Star Eater scales. They basically overcharge your super when you get more orbs over having your super. So when you've got your super and you get pick up orbs, it will overcharge your super. You'll get more super from orbs. Uh, the weapons I'm using, I am using, obviously, Night Watch for Barriers. I'm using the Truth Teller with blinding nades and auto loading holster. That will come into play, obviously, for the unstoppables, but also for putting the debuff on the boss. And I'm using the Royal Entry with auto loading holster, lasting impression, and impact casing. So a really good version of it. I'm using Breaching Clear, and as you can see here in the video, I'm going to show you my Uzumi that it took me two or three runs to get this. Legends about 30-40% chance of dropping this. Uh I went with Solar Damage Resist, you can go with Void, it's it's up to yourself. I, I, I went with, un, obviously, Unstoppable Grenade Launcher, and I went with Anti-Barriers, uh, Scout Rifle, double, double, rocket, double Rocket Launcher Finder, and that's basically it. I went with the, the mod from the, the Artifact, uh, I went with uh, Ardent Ordnance, I used a couple of mods from the Artifact, Ardent Ordnance, uh, I never used Rocket Launcher Loader because we had Auto Load and Holster. So, alongside this video, I've also done a run of the Expunge mission, which I will link at the end of this video. So, it's a under 10 minute run, flawless on the Hunter. So, if you're interested in learning how to get that done, you can always check that video out as well. But on to this run. So, I used the, the, the Grenade Launcher. I have used it before, but I feel like... With this season's artifact, grenade launchers are actually pretty much top tier. So the truth teller I've got has got blinding nades, auto loading holster, disruption break. Uh, it will apply a debuff, and you'll see when I hit any kind of bosses, champions, any of those sorts of ads, uh, it will apply a debuff to the ad where I will now do more damage with rockets, uh, scout rifle, whatever. So. That was really the main focus of doing this, was testing the grenade launcher, seeing how good the, the auto loading was. The, the Star Reader scales, this isn't such a great test because I didn't fire my super too many times here. In fact, on the plate section, which is after this and then the next section and then it's the plate, I actually, I suppose I better tell the truth here, I actually thought I had six shot uh, tether on because that was how I was going to test it originally. I didn't. I had top tree tether on. Uh, as you'd have seen in the video, top tree tether on, and so I didn't actually fire my my super on the plate like I normally do. You see there, you see those yellow numbers. That's that's the debuff being applied by the scout, the the grenade launcher. And the great thing is, the grenade launcher does a fair amount of damage, but it blinds them so that you can then you're free to uh, free to focus fire them. So when I get to a champion, this one that. This champion, not really too much to be worried about, so I just ha happen with the, the rocket. Wait for his shield to go up. Now, have to be pretty careful with with uh, with the rocket launcher because it, it applies a rocket, sticks a rocket to the champion, especially barriers. Stick a rocket to the champion. Depending on how much damage you do beforehand and with the rocket, the champion might put a shield up, uh, which which case the rocket won't do so much damage. But you can see that the grenade launcher put in a ton of work here. So again, groups of ads you want to try and get a grenade launcher on. I, I, I actually I used the rocket. I had I had heavy ammo, that's why I'd done it. I used the rocket, kinda of found a different way to use it because last impression kinda of just sits there and really doesn't really do anything for the first three three seconds or something. I sometimes was using it almost like a trap. I put it outside a portal or something, uh, and hope that the ads spawned in enough time that the explosion would take out a bunch of ads. Worked sometimes, didn't work all the time. So as you can see there, I've hit I've hit that champion. 
I shouldn't uh, you know, I was lucky there. I shouldn't have shot him. Uh, but it was a, it was almost perfect timing. Hit him with a grenade, which applied the debuff. You've seen the yellow numbers when the rocket hit the boss. And then, no, uh, 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 break the shield and finish him. Easy, easy work. The truth of the matter with this Nightfall is, the whole Nightfall is, is like is a walk in the park, you know, compared to some of the other Nightfalls that you could do. The boss is where it's at. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit before we get to the boss. I'm gonna do a little bit of explaining about how the boss works, so that you've got a point of reference for some of the things that I'll be saying when I get to the boss. The boss has a couple of different mechanics that you need to be aware of. So the first one is you've got obviously you've got boss ads, then you've got play ads, two separate sets of ads that are activated by separate things totally. Uh, boss ads are activated. Surprise, surprise, by the boss. And they'll be uh, phalanxes, le legionaries, and you will get some... Uh, 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 are they majors? Are they majors? Major shielded uh, incendiars. Play ads will be legionaries, void shielded incendiars, but they'll be gladiators and they'll be dogs, right? Plate ads are activated when you activate a plate. Once you go onto the plate, you will activate that kind of that that bunch of ads. What controls those ads are the four legionaries that come out with them. So if you keep those legionaries alive, while when you step on a plate, once you do damage the boss, when you step on a plate, uh, you'll get plate ads every time. As soon as you step on the plate, you activate the plate ads. Uh, you need to take out the plate ads, and then. You can see here I tried I tried the thing with the rocket. Now this is the the thing before before we go back to the, what's happening at the boss. I'll just explain what's happening here. You get six waves. That first wave you get three of those, and you get three of this next wave. This next wave has a void incendiary and an unstoppable. Now what happened here, which was unfortunate, was this was what I was saying that I forgot. Normally what I would do, and I suggest this this run would be about four minutes faster if if I'd have. Uh, you see, I was, I was kind of panicking here a little bit because I wasn't expecting to have to deal with him. Just forgot that I didn't have top tree tether on, which is really funny when you take into consideration I have top tree tether on. Forgot that I, I had changed at one point to this, to, to uh, uh, bottom tree tether, which you guys know me sometimes. I completely forget the names. Uh, Orpheus Qu Mobius Quiver? Mobius Quiver, that's what it's called. But I hadn't actually changed back to top tree. So what I would normally would do in, in this situation, what I'd normally do is I would fire my tether and then control I'd take out the first wave of ads, which would be gladiators and dogs with the tether. And then the next wave, which you've got uh, uh, on legend, you have an incendiar and an unstoppable. They would get captured by the tether as well. But because I didn't realize this, I had top tree on and you'll notice right after this point, there comes a thing that something's going to happen that lets you know that <laughs> I actually was thinking I had uh, Mobius Quiver on. So I would just I would just do two waves, but it's, it's no big deal doing these waves. If you stop if you stop the unstoppable with the grenade launcher, and you get him, you'll see there that the, the rocket almost killed him. The reason it didn't kill him is the rocket will kill him. With with the debuff on, if you've already took just about his first health bar off him, the rocket will then kill him. And I always put major spec on for for I put the major spec on for, for the champions. I actually think in these runs, I think I actually have boss spec on. Did I have boss? No, I had major. I maybe should have put boss. Should maybe put boss spec on because you really want the rocket to do big damage to to the boss. But if like me, you're you're an idiot and you actually have to take out all the ads here, you're going to get three waves of the gladiators and dogs and three waves of the incendiars and unstoppables. And once you do that, you see there I've applied the debuff, but unfortunately I, I don't know if he was stopped at this point. I don't think he was. So I'm going to have to stop him again. But you'll see he's got that kind of purple thing going on. That tells you that he's got the debuff. Now that rocket will just kill him. And I, I put another rocket on him because I knew I had heavy. 
as you see there, the rocket hitting for about 80 odd thousand. It normally hits, it'll hit the boss for 72, 74 thousand, something like that. So, this next part, before we go back to the boss fight, because I feel like the boss fight is the meat of this particular meal. I think the rest is just veg and potatoes. The boss is really the meat. That's where people struggle the most. So this boss, sorry, this next area we're going to be going to, nearly everything can be done from range. In fact, everything everything really can be done from range apart from one part. So when you get in here, you're going to have a bunch of ads. You can move up, move up to this rock. That's the part I said that I th was wondering why I didn't go invisible. Thought I had Mobius Quiver on. That's when I realized I didn't have Mobius Quiver on. You can see there, I dodge reload because I'm an idiot. When you first come in here, come up to this rock. As long as you don't go past this rock. You see there, now I realize that I can use my super. Attach a rocket. And he put his shield up before the rocket could really take effect. Hopefully it will take him out. And there we go. If you get the champion past his first health bar and then put a rocket on, the rocket will finish him. If you go up to that rock on the right, you won't activate any other ads. You won't make Cargan go, that Cargan's up at this conflux. Then I'll come over here and you can just take the rest of the ads from over here. Uh, there'll be an unstoppable over the other side. Try and take everything down but the unstoppable. Uh, and then... Going, but you're, the unstoppable is going to drop an orb. Now, if you're doing whatever whatever version of this you're doing, the mechanics are the same. The unstoppable is the key to getting the ads over where we're standing to spawn. You take out the unstoppable, the ads over here spawn. Now, if you take out the barrier and leave the unstoppable till last, you won't get any ads over here. Then, when you obviously when you take this first orb, when you take down the unstoppable, you get those ads. Clear those ads, then you'll get. The next wave coming in. Uh, same kind of deal. But once you kill the unstoppable. The next time. You're going to get. A second wave of ads over here. And then you're going to get. A barrier in the centre. You'll have a barrier over by where you slam the orb as well. So that's the only time. Where you can't really do it from range. Because you've got to come over here and kill the unstoppable. Well, you don't really have to. But uh, once you kill the unstoppable. These ads over here will spawn. The ads over by where you would slam the orb. So you do have to come over here. So during the, the first wave, we're going to do what, what business from roughly here, maybe the other side. Uh, in the second wave, once we took the unstoppable, we're going to go back down where we're going now. We're going to go back down over here and fight the ads from in the, from basically where we came into this area from. So really is, it really is, as long as you keep doing the same thing, you'll be fine. So we never got the... The stop on him there with the grenade. We've got it there. Put the rocket on and try and take his health bar down. The rocket should kill him. Just must have just been above his last health bar. So now that we've killed that unstoppable, just like I said, now you're going to get the wave of ads over the other side. You do not get any more ads this side, not on the first orb. It's the second orb. You get another wave of ads come in. You get barrier. It's a bad day over the other side, really. Uh... And then that's this area kind of done. We just have to do what we've done one more time with the addition of maybe another 10 adds. And there, there is two more champions. But the champions can be attacked in such a way that you're not going to be... Uh, you're not, you're not going to be in any kind of danger. Uh, what you'll see uh, that I'm trying to do is... A, I'm trying to do everything quickly because not only do I want the 100k, but from what I've noticed... The longer it takes you to complete these activities, the less chance you've got of actually dropping it. And I tested that out last week with the hung jury. I had a friend who never got it for tons and tons of runs. And we ended up, he'd done runs before I'd, I'd started helping. And we ended up we ended up getting him, but it took a heap of runs to get it. Uh, and the time we'd done it was our fastest run. So the faster you do it, do it flawless, do it quickly. It just seems to increase... The, the drop rate, which is why you'll find that there'll be tons of people, and even in the comments on this video, there'll be people saying, oh, I got it on Hero and it wasn't too hard, because maybe you're running it fast, and there is a 10% chance, I think it's 10, 20% on, on Hero, that's for every run, you could be in that 20%, but if you're not, every run, you've got a 20% chance, you could get lucky, and you could be a part of that 10%, I think it is, but there's a higher percentage 
to drop it on this difficulty. I decided not to do it on on master simply because it's it's the drop rate is slightly higher. It's not a guarantee. It's slightly higher. But the truth of the matter is, A, it's a much more difficult proposition for most people. And two, not everybody's going to be at the power level where that can be considered a farm farmable activity. So as you can see, all I've got left are these two... The two phalanxes and the unstoppable. And they've jumped all the way at the back because... Ads and destiny. Now that I've killed them, you see me looking? Now that I've killed them, you're going to get waves of ads out of those portals. Now I think what happens here is I had to kill one of these phalanxes. And we just left one up and you see it immediately. Immediately I was going to get more ads. So I'm just going to grab some ammunition. And then as I said, I'm going to head down here to where we came in. The ads will all come roughly about this area. Now... This is where it's situations like this and at the boss that the grenade launcher really earns its keep. And what I mean by that is the blind in those enemies, you can it's not not so much this isn't so much about the debuff, this is just about uh making them easy targets. They will just it, it, it's like it's like stasis but with skill. That you'll be able to fight them and they they won't really they, they won't really do too much back. Now once we pick up the orb, we're going to get this this uh, barrier champion over here. He's going to spawn in the in the middle. So if you're prepared for him, you can control him. It's, but that's the same with every ad. You see there, I've got that feast of light just above barrier rounds on the, the left-hand side of my my screen. That is the buff for the Star Eater scales. That's where I've... I've... Uh, I've... Uh, overcharged my super but as I say I, I didn't really notice much of a difference because probably not a great place to test it so we've got Barry over here and then the normal ads and you see I've hit him with a, a rocket and I'm just he he put he went into his uh, shield too quickly really so this rocket should do a ton of damage and then we just finish him before he puts his shield back up. And that is basically it. There's some ads over here. And we're going to be running to the boss. So, as I've said about the boss. We'll, we'll speak about the boss quickly. Or maybe not quickly. Just get through the main thing. So, you've got boss ads. You've got plate ads. Once you take out the boss ads. The boss ads. If the boss is up, the boss's ads are linked to his health. The plate ads are linked not only to the plate. But they're linked to four legionaries. So, every time the, the plate ads come out. So you, let's say as soon as you get in there, you're going to get boss ads. You're going to get plate ads, sorry. You're going to get the dogs, you're going to get legionaries, you're going to capture that plate. And then you're going to get boss ads. As long as the boss is up, they will come when the boss's health reaches a certain level. Once the boss goes away, regardless of what ads are up, the minute you go on the plate, you're going to activate plate ads. Now the plate ads, as I say, you'll have gladiators, you'll have... Legionaries, incendiaries, and dogs. They come at different kind of uh, uh, sections, if you like. Sometimes you'll get the dogs, and then you'll get the gladiators, and sometimes you'll get them all. The key is those four legionaries. So if you get the dogs, take out all the dogs. If you've got the incendiaries, take out the incendiaries, and leave those four legionaries up together. What you want to do is blind them, and start taking the plate. Now you can go to one side. You'll see me do it in the video. You can go to one side. Try and group them up on the other side. As far away from the plate as possible. Go to the other side. And blind them. Perfect. But. Sometimes even when they're blinded. They'll still keep moving towards the plate. If they go onto the plate. They stop you capturing the plate. So once you've got the plate to about 50%. You can then. Not worry about them too much. You can you can get them killed. Now. That, that is basically how you capture all the plates. See there, that's exactly what I'm talking about, that, that goblin. So even when they're blinded, it doesn't stop them moving, it just stops them being so kind of aggressive towards you. When we get when we get over here, when we see the boss room, I'm going to put some shots on as many of the ads as possible, because you'll see we get about 6,000 score from this. So, I, I, you know, these uh, try and get a shot. As long as a shot is registered on as many of these ads as possible, when the boss kills them, you will get the points from me. See there, I've got 6,660. 
So, the difference with the plate ads and the boss ads as well is the plate ads will hunt you. Now, that pillar that we started at, the, the plate ads, uh, the only ads that will come back there are the gladiators. But the gladiators won't go to the entrance right and left. The dogs won't go to the right and left entrance. So, you've got places where you can go and be safe without having to really jump about like a, you know, like a crazy person. Now, you'll see here, I, I should have tethered. I realized that as soon as I, because the, the ads, that's exactly what I was talking about to start with. The ads just came onto the plate. I never controlled them. Now that I've killed the legionaries, I'm going to get more ads. Because that is the way it works. These plate ads were activated the minute I stepped on the plate. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to control the try and get these ads under control. This is what happens when you don't control the ads right off right off the bat. You just get swarmed, and this is what happens to a lot of people. GM Nightfalls, Master, Legend, it's all the same. So what we're going to do is once I've killed enough of the enemies, I think I'm just going to you know, I have to get the ads under control. You see, I'm not going for the legionaries anymore. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get the dogs killed. And then what to do is once you've got them blinded, just keep hitting them and just keep trying to blind them. The blinding nades actually have a decent radius. Now you see in a minute I'm gonna I'm not really bored about killing them. I've almost got the plate. I'm gonna tether. I need to make sure I get this plate. There we go. I've got the plate. The boss is out. Now it's dogs that are out, so I don't really have to worry about gladiators. Now You'll see here, we've done a decent amount of damage on the boss. But now I've got the debuff on the boss. So, 18,000 when I hit the boss. 18,800. 73,000. So, it's 100,000 per, per uh, rocket. This is where I'm going to go to put the debuff on the boss. Now, for some reason, I never tracked him with that shot. But I got them with the next one. Because there are so many ads and we are going to be killing them, come quite a lot of ads. We, we, we're not really going to be too worried about too worried about uh, ammunition. This this pillar, as I've said before, this pillar here, just that we're just going behind right now. The only ads that will come behind that will be uh, the gladiators. So we can control all the ads. As long as we keep putting it, you've got to be careful with the boss. The best time to rocket the boss, see there, I've hit him with a rocket, but I never got the debuff. But I took out a lot of enemies around him. Best time to hit the boss with the rocket is when you've applied the debuff. Now, the other thing, see there, I've hit him, got the 18,000. The other thing you have to be careful of is the boss's three-prong attack. Now, if the end of the attack hits you, you're going to be fine. You just throw you up in the air. It's this trail, this void trail. You really are going to get smashed by it. You can't really survive it. You have to really be careful. So the best time to fire a rocket is just after you've you've hit the boss with with uh, just after you've hit the boss with a grenade. Hit the boss with a grenade. You see there? I accidentally went on the plate. Now I've activated plate ads. So I'm just trying to keep, I'm not, I, it's very doubtful I'm going to capture this plate, right? So I'm just, I recognize that, I know I'm going to get plate ads. I'm just going to try, take out whatever plate ads are coming. So there, we've got, we've got uh, gladiators. I don't care about using some rockets on some gladiators because they, they're pain in the backside. So we've got, unfortunately, we've got a couple of legionaries there. So wait until they come round to you here. As I say, this is your safe spot here from gladiators. You can't just stand there from the gladiators. Right? You can't just stand there, but they won't chase you over there. So, with your invisibility, if, if, you know, I, I wouldn't suggest for this using the Star Reader scales. I would suggest using Worm Husk or something like that. Just going invisible. I'm just going out here to grab some ammunition. I want to see what's about. I'm trying to bring the legionaries over, and you see, I, I've got, I've got, I accidentally got a kill on one of them. Now I have to blind them. 
And because they're separated, I'm just going to tether. Now, I don't care about killing them. I've got the plate at 50% and I've got a tether. So that, that's basically what we're going to do. Now we've got dogs. I've got the plate. That's the main thing. Getting the plate is the main thing. So now we've got we've got uh, void shielded incendiaries and obviously gladiators. So we're just going to move back to our spot. Going to use our blinding needs whenever we can. You can move as long as you're behind here. So we'll just stick one of them with a rocket and a dodge just out the way of that gladiator. That's two gladiators down. Just got this last one. So I'm going to go behind this rock. I'm going to entice them out. Now I'm going to finish them. I've got heavy ammo over here. So just grab. And then there's one more. I think there's one more gladiator up. Nope. I think I've took all the gladiators. Now what we've got is we've got incendiaries at the back. I want to take them before I go for another plate. So i just got to find out where they are. I don't really... Because... I'm always suspect about take, doing that, do, uh, a taking a plate when these incendiaries are still up. So I'm just trying to get a little summit on them. I'm not even going to try and capture a plate just now. Right? Not what? Not not if I not when there's incendiaries up. I just need them out. As you can see here, very close actually. That's why. I didn't think I tried to capture that plate, but obviously I did. There are still a few incendiaries up. There's still a few... Uh, a few... Uh, of the... A few legionaries up. But I'm not going to be able to capture this plate. Now... You might actually get it here. I'm just going to go, I'm just going to kill them, I'm dodging going viz. I actually managed to get that there, I'm very surprised. Shows uh, how things can work like that. Uh, the reason I got it is because I managed to keep the, the legionaries blinded. And as long as you can keep the legionaries blinded. I'm just going to stick that over there, see what damage I can do. The, the 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 rocket launcher I'm using it's, it is a very very good rocket launcher. I got it this week actually. It's not one that I've had for a while, so I didn't have any blinding needs. I've now picked up. Make sure you've got grenade ammo launcher finder, obviously, and rocket launcher ammo finder. Having the auto loading holster for the grenade launcher is obviously top tier uh, for doing this because you can just holster it, pull out your scout. So now. We just need to make sure that there are no other ads but the incendiaries. It's 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 key. Once the incendiaries are gone, uh, sorry. Once once the the incendiaries, the gladiators, and the dogs are gone, and you just can control the legionaries, then you can go and capture plates. You know. But I don't. As a rule, I tend not to try. As I've said already, I tend not to try to capture plates whilst. The incendiaries are out because I'm always a little bit mm, about trying to capture plates when the incendi incendiaries are up because the incendi incendiaries are well, the incendiaries are up because if they push the plate it's it's, it's just so much is going to be going on so now I'm going to try and uh, I hate the fact you can't run off these plates I'm going to try and just do something with these incendiaries at the back Hopefully, we almost got one there, but I've got my tether should I need it. So, as you can see, there's one. And just, uh... I'm just changing, changing possession, trying to get a good possession on this incendiar. So, he's ran away to the other side. So maybe if I can keep the ads bunched, you see there, I got them all. all. Right? So I've decided to kill him. Unfortunately, I killed two of them. So now, again, good old Tether. Tether ca captured them. I reckon I'm going to get this. 
because I can go and viz. If you if you can get the plate to half, right, if you if you if you're confident you can get it to half, then you should be okay. So now we, we've got still got now. That, here's the thing. So now we get plate ad, We've got plate ads up, but now we've got boss ads as well. So thing the thing is the boss ads. They won't push past the plate. Very rarely will an incendiary push past that plate or a legionary. But the plate adds well, so we need to get rid of the plate adds. So there's a couple of there's still a I don't know if that's the last gladiator. No, it's not. So we need to get rid of these gladiators so that we're not worried about running about out, you know, of this back area. There's one more gladiator. And he's finishable. That is all the pl that's all the plate ads, the gladiators, the dogs. Now there are still are incendiars, but the incendiars, even when they're on the even when it's plate ads, the incendiars will not push past uh, the centre part. See there, I got that eighteen thousand, so I already know that one hit the boss. Every time it's a hundred thousand. Be very careful with those the void streams. Very careful with those. Now, this back area. I did say where we are standing now, it's a kind of a safe zone. Sometimes the boss's void attack will actually hit this this uh, void, this uh, wall. If you're too close when it hits, if you're too close to the wall, when it hits, it will it will actually hit penetrate and hit you through the other side of the wall. You see there, I'm, I've run out of ammo. I've got a bit of special here. I'm just going to do a quick run out. I've only got one heavy, but I just want to keep... The, the grenade launcher does a ton of damage. And as I've already said, with breach and load, you can keep keep applying a debuff to the adds. The boss then takes an increased damage from the grenade launcher itself. You see there? Now, I got the 18,000, but I think the debuff went off at that point. But I, I took out a, quite a lot of adds there. But now I've got my invisibility. I know I've got heavy out there. I'm just gonna. I'm just kind of jumping about trying to get some hits. Uh, I, I've I've always kind of found in this this one particularly for a nightfall, the faster you move around the the map, the better. You can actually do a lot more damage than you think you can if you're moving around quickly. You see, I got stuck there. I've dodged. I've used my dodge for some reason. I found that you can almost negate some of the damage from the the grenades if you dodge. At the moment, it's going to explode. But I think I've got solar damage for that. I think I think I've got solar resist uh, because of that very thing. So I went and viz, done a run out there. Got full heavy, full special. Now I can go back to DPS and I can now fire my super. So we've got the super. And we've got a big rocket on there. And we're just going to try and now just make these rockets count. Sometimes the boss will do that. If you fire from farther away, it gives the rocket more time to actually, uh, to actually hit. Now you see here, he was waiting for it. I was waiting for him to fire his void shot, but he didn't. See there, he's dodging every shot now. For some reason, that's what we wanted. We wanted him to fire his void shot because he's vulnerable to getting hit by a rocket. Uh, which is probably why he's not firing. So as you can see, the boss really hasn't got a lot left. And uh, he's really got not, not got a lot left. So that's the run, guys. Make sure you debuff the boss. Wait for him to fire his, his shot off. Uh, control the ads. Make sure you control the ads when you're at the boss. Uh, four. I think you can take two out before the next ads come out. Two of the legionaries. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this helps you get your video, your sniper. And I hope you guys check out my expunge solo, which I've linked at the end. Take it easy, guys. And I will speak to you in the next video.